How to Help Yourself Sleep In the face of deadlines and constant stress, many people complain of insomnia. But in order to effectively cope with stress, you need to get enough sleep. It turns out a vicious circle. How to get out of this circle, we ask the therapist, cardiologist, doctor. You can, of course, blame the stress. However, everyone lives in the same conditions, but someone gets enough sleep, and someone does not. Therefore, everything also depends on how we react to stress. Often the response to stress is inadequate to the strength of the stress. In addition, many people are used to chewing their experiences for a long time, driving themselves into chronic stress on their own. At the same time, during the day, people, as a rule, have no time to drive negative thoughts in a circle, and this process starts before going to bed. After that, it is impossible to sleep. Factors Affecting Sleep In order for sleep to be calm and sound, it is important to observe a number of conditions. Before going to bed did not eat, especially plentifully and densely. After a heavy dinner at night, it is impossible to fall asleep and achieve quality sleep. Whatever you do, but until you remove this factor, your sleep will not normalize. It is necessary to exclude coffee at night, caffeinated drugs. Avoid watching some action-packed films, computer games, so as not to overload the nervous system additionally. Avoid alcoholic drinks. Half a glass of wine can relax the nervous system and improve sleep. But if a person drinks a significant amount of alcohol, sleep will be poor. Sleep in the dark. Melatonin, which regulates sleep and wakefulness, is produced in absolute darkness. Therefore, if there is a light source, sleep will be poor, since melatonin is produced worse in this case. This is especially true for people after 40 years of age, whose melatonin levels already decrease. If you are cold, especially if you have cold feet, it is difficult to fall asleep. Therefore, be sure to warm your feet, either by wearing socks or taking a warm blanket, putting a heating pad to your feet. Sports activities should be completed 2-3 hours before bedtime. An exception may be the pool if it is relaxing and enjoyable swimming. Follow the routine. It often happens that a person wants to sleep in the evening, but he has not done something or wants to watch TV, surf the internet. And if the moment when it was necessary to go to bed is lost, it is already difficult for a person to fall asleep. Therefore, it is important to go to bed at the same time. Moreover, there are many diseases caused by lack of sleep. Therefore, you need to sleep at least 7-8 hours a day. If you still can't sleep. If you meet all the conditions, but still do not fall asleep well, then it is important to establish the cause of poor sleep. There are two types of insomnia, either the person cannot sleep, or he wakes up at night. The first type is more common in young people. As a rule, sleep disorders of the first type are associated with emotional experiences. Therefore, it is important to exclude tonic procedures, drinks, and foods before going to bed. You can also take a course of herbal sedatives. Take a relaxing bath at night, rather than a tonic shower, with pine extract or lavender. Use aromatic oils with a calming effect if you are not allergic to them. You can also use natural air fragrances in the bedroom to smell pleasant, relaxing scents during bedtime. There are special pillows with hops or pine needles that help to calm, relax and improve sleep. Before going to bed, it is better to listen to relaxing music, take a walk in the fresh air, and avoid overexcitation. The second type is associated with nocturnal awakenings. Sometimes this type of insomnia is associated with stressful situations, in which case all the methods listed above are applicable. But more often nighttime awakenings occur in older people due to a decrease in melatonin. In this case, the doctor may prescribe melatonin in a certain dosage at bedtime. Prescribe melatonin in a